Thanks for coming all the way over here, Tam, from that side of the camera. Hi, guys. I'm Tam. I'm the producer. Oh, yeah. Hi, this is Tam. Tam is the producer. I'm usually behind the camera, but He's today I'm enjoying waffles. Welcome to Break an Egg. Today we're going to make some um, granola waffles. They're waffles with granola in the batter. In the batter? In the batter. And then in a little the on the top, maybe at the end. Okay. Yeah. Double. They're crunchy and soft okay they absorb maple syrup really well because they've got a little texture okay some bumps and hills and valleys peaks and valleys yes, yeah peaks it's a texture valleys. experience okay okay whole right. wheat granola waffles granola in granola on possibly granola under you could do whatever you want if you it's the world's your oyster as yeah. they say so the thing you're going to start with is some granola that you either made or bought that doesn't have a lot of um raisins or nuts in it if okay. you can help it okay because those are just going to scorch when we take it yes to waffle town waffle so, town take a bunch of milk that should be our title i love waffle town i'm more of a waffle person than a pancake person like if i'm in a hotel yeah. and there's a waffle thing i'm getting a waffle yeah totally. okay so what did we just do okay so we just added milk to the granola and it's going to soak and sort of okay. absorb a little bit. Absorb. Just so it kind of goes into the batter. Oh, yeah. Looks like you're having an XL <laughs> bowl of cereal. <laughs> Waffles are actually my bottom three oh, out of waffle thanks. French toast pancake. Okay, it's who's actually one? pancake French toast then waffle. Okay. So we're going to see if this is a game changer. It's not going to be. If, that's, <laughs> if, you, if you're a pancake head, I feel like going no waffle. I'm just a diner pancake person. Mm, you don't discriminate. I you're don't. Like... I do have to say that Three Decker Diner really does it for me. Okay. I love Three Decker. I love their pancakes. Um, I'm there usually twice a week with my friends. Like in most good recipes, you mix your wet and then you mix your dry. Okay. And then they join each other later. So we're going to do the dry portion, which is some whole wheat flour just to get, I don't know, nutrition, nutrition. in your life. Whole wheat. Whole wheat. I like a healthful or alternative flour for flavor. Okay. Gotcha. I think that they're, I think it's fun. All right. Like we not, use buckwheat in previous episodes. Yes. Yeah. Or a spelt flour. Spelt. Yeah. I like this. Baking powder. Yes. Baking soda. Beautiful. Helps do, does this. Yes. for things for waffles that's especially important you need lift in your waffle yeah if you don't have lift you what do you got what are, what are you what do you got what are you uh i'm gonna add some salt it's a half teaspoon but i'm gonna i'm gonna pinch all right i'm gonna give a healthy pinch. a double pinch yeah technically if you think about it two pinches equals a half teaspoon so is that true there's the conversion is that true? ratio are you a scientist <laughs> are you a baking <laughs> expert <laughs> the comments will incredible. correct us don't worry Ugh. This, um, how long has this been sitting, would you say? Five, time? seven minutes. That's, we're going to need it to sit a little longer. All right. That's all right. I'm just going to do all these things. Yeah, I'm just. You're just, you're here. I'm here we're to hanging. have fun. I'm here to have fun. I'm looking at the recipe and it says that we are also using melted shortening or oil if needed. That's for greasing the waffle iron. Yes. But we live in 2024. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Hey. Producer. <laughs> and we have this like aerosol oil. In oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, just, yeah, yeah. We got two yeah. eggs. Just gonna give them a little beat before we add them. We've got some, a stick of melted butter. That's, One whole stick. Butter what is you, good for you. What do you think about the misconception that like butter is not like that good for you? I feel like life is short. Life is short. It's true. Life is long if you're lucky, and I think you should just have the butter. Yeah. I think you should just, it's more no. delicious. Yeah. Growing up, my mom would um, always omit like 75% of the butter from her cookie recipes. Oh. And I feel like now I like love a cookie and like every cookie blows my mind, but I realize right. it's just because everyone else, else is using butter. the butter. What did they hurt your mom's butter. cookies look like? Were they like kind of tall? No, they're just kind of like, she would just like make like really, she would only make one kind of cookie growing yeah. up and it's a peanut butter cookie. Okay. And like, she would just like omit all the butter. So it would just be like peanut butter and sugar and some flour and an egg and like bake it. I'd probably still eat that. that yeah, it's great. Really it's just good. very crunchy. <laughs> it's very crunchy. Yeah. And it didn't have to be. So I'm adding the butter and the eggs to this granola milk mixture. This looks like cereal that's been sitting for a while, but it's actually got a lot of butter. It probably tastes better. Do you, are you a cereal person? I 
usually buy cereal if it's like on sale. That's okay. my thing with cereal. I don't like buy it regularly, but every now and then if I'm walking up the grocery aisle and like my favorite cereal, like a Lucky Charms is mm. on sale oh, and it's like half one? off. For like a dessert cereal, sure. like a late night snack. Yeah, yeah. I'll gladly. And if I have it, I will go through it, you know? Yeah. What about you? Uh, I love cereal. You find cereal comfy? What's yeah. your go-to cereals? I. I don't really discriminate. I'm not a Lucky Charms person, but mm. I do like I do like a Cinnamon Life. Ooh. I do like a Cinnamon. My husband's favorite is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, I do love a Raisin Bran, actually. Yeah. I have a soft spot for yeah. some Bran. Yeah, my grandmother used to make the muffins on the side of the box growing up, Shut and up. Um, that was pretty cute. <laughs> awesome. She's like, I made something for you. <laughs> it's made out of cereal. This yeah. is the pattern. We're this just repeating is, a yes, pattern exactly. here. Exactly. <laughs> Philomena, this is for you. I do really love granola though, and we do have a bunch of really good granola recipes on our food52 website. Dot com. Dot com. All right, where are we at? We're, our batter is mixed. It's oh. a little bit looser than when I made it last time, but. Yeah. So be it. Is that just because the granola is not like soaking? Maybe. All right, so we're making square waffles. We're making square waffles. This particular green pan uh, waffle iron has a lot of like elite settings. Like you can choose fluffy or crunchy oh. or light or dark. Oh, what are we rolling with today? Classic. Okay. Just classic right there. Classic. Oh, you can swap out the yeah. thing. It's like a transformer. It's like an Autobot roll out on this. Yeah. But like if it was like a sentient transformer, would it be one of the good ones or the bad ones? Oh, I think it'd be a good one. I mean, it makes waffles for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not going to intimidate anybody. Okay. Let's spray. I feel like we're just going to have to do this once. Brush, brush, brush. I haven't done anything this episode. This is great. Do you, yeah, I mean, you are working. I You're the be, producer of this show. I should be so a guest. Working. I should be a guest on this show more, more often. often. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you know when it's like ready? Does it have like a ready to go? It'll start and stop. This one of these. So now it's, oh, it's giving me a preheat. We are preheated. We're preheated. We're back. We're hot. We're so hot. All right. Smoking. I'm gonna use a scoop. This is an ice cream scoop for anyone at home wondering. It's, it's the regular size. If anybody was wondering what size ice cream scoop is best. <laughs> you know, I used to work at an ice cream um, spot. Oh, did you? We, I used to scoop ice cream and it was probably my favorite job I ever had because I would love that no job. one's ever mad. And no. like, if someone is mad, you just offer them free ice cream. And they are immediately. Like, oh, actually, yeah, this is a great place. All right, what is this going I for? I hit start. It's a lot it's of steam. It's gonna tell me. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of steam. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of drama. steam. What are I we putting on these? Oh, sorry. Oh, what are we putting on these? I thought you'd never ask, Tam. <laughs> what I made for us today. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little bit like maybe you've been to a gag store and you want to buy some fake uh. This is what I'm calling granola brittle. So I've taken some of the leftover granola. Half granola cup. Granola brittle, uh-huh. And then I've tossed it with two tablespoons of maple syrup and mm. I put it in the oven at like 375. And it's just a little extra sweet and a little extra crunchy. Your face says to me. I'm just smelling this right now. And you hate waffles. I want you. To, <laughs> I want you to stand over this and get a waft of this while I try get granola brittle. Get a waft brittle. of the waffle. Yeah, it smells like raw batter. It's, it's not. It's gonna get better. It's not pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is granola brittle. Mhm. Mm Tastes like granola. It's brittle like brittle. Tastes then, like granola. You want maybe some yogurt? That would be nice. It would be nice. You love yogurt. And yogurt. Love. I do love yogurt. And maybe some fruit. Fruit. Some strawberries. Oh, I love a strawberry. That was creative. There you go. You came up with this? Right off the top of my dome. That's pretty smart, honestly. Hey, thanks. Not in like a mean way. <laughs> <laughs> sounded actually, really rude. It actually does not suck. So it's, great job. If I'm in a small town, USA, yeah. you know, TM, yeah. capital S, small, yeah. capital T town. Thank you like, for specifying that. You know, generic, run uh -huh. of the mill, and there's that fudge shop. You're going in. I'm popping in and I'm walking out with something. Oh. <laughs> I feel like every time I'm like at one of those rest stops and there's like a fudge stand, I'm like, who? <laughs> going there. It's me. And then you're there. I'm a fiend there's never for, a line. I'm a fiend for fudge. Oh. That's what I have to wow. say. Wow. That's poetry. That is. Isn't that, we're looking at 225. Um, it's steaming away. 
lots of moisture being wicked away. I do kind of want to open it and see. Yeah, how give it a little peek. Doing. That's oh. looking really. That's looking really done. I don't know. If two minutes makes sense. I don't know either. The last time I used this thing, it did kind of need all the time. I don't know. I like a thin waffle. I'm gonna say that. Thin like, waffle. I'm not a big Belgian waffle head. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I have a Belgian waffle, like a thick one, yeah. I'm just like, why did I Regrets. get this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Regrets, like, I have a few. I get through like a quarter of it and I'm like, I'm done. And I feel bad. I, I feel like I back. have to eat the rest. And you have to go to bed afterwards. Unfortunately. And usually when you get a Belgian waffle, you're traveling and you're at a hotel with a continental <laughs> breakfast. And that day, you're probably going to go to a theme park. <laughs> and you're so tired and you have to get in the car and go to like Disneyland, you know? It's like... You know, I know that's the that is that is the signature Belgian <laughs> waffle experience. Uh, what's our countdown is 30 seconds. I'm going to get two plates, two plates, two plates. All right. Maybe two forks. Maybe are there forks? forks? Do I need to go grab forks? I think there are two forks in here. Los dos. Up. Oh, there are two forks in here. Ooh. What's your thought on um? that's done? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, crispy. <clears throat> Looks great. Ooh, fold it. I mean, seemed like the Ooh. right way to get it out of here. No? Yeah. Oh, what's your thought on chicken and waffles? Are you a chicken and waffle person? I, in theory I am, but I have to admit to you that I've never eaten a chicken and waffle in my You've life. You've never had a chicken and waffle I, in your it's life? It's actually a shame. That's a shame. I don't we know. We gotta I just that. I just skipped. I just skipped it for some reason until now, but I'll, I'll get on that. Do you know where chicken and waffles come from and why it exists? Pray tell. The story that I know is that it is like invented by um, jazz musicians. Okay. And that they would like finish playing so late or early in the morning and they wouldn't know whether or not to have breakfast or dinner. So they would have chicken and waffles. Uh, it's a story that I was told. And you know what? It's so true though. Like chicken and waffles is such a like, I don't know what I should be eating, and so I'm going to eat both. Yes. Yeah. You know. Right. They're very thin, but I I like that. They do personally. look. Yeah, I'm a fan. Do you want to throw in another round of waffles? Yeah, I can get I... a I can get a bad boy started. Do I need to regrease? I don't think so, cause it's nonstick. And yeah. We did it once. So we're going one scoop per mm -hmm. quadrant. Mm-hmm. It's just like a little like that bad boy. Let it fill nicely. Okay, going in deep. See, you get a little like rub like that and let it fill all the crevasses. It's counting down. I think you did. I think you did it right. So here are my accoutrements for our granola waffle. It's interesting. You don't really see like a ton of. Well, I guess you see some like oats. I see an oat in there, but you don't see like a ton of granola texture. It just kind of becomes becomes one. Get a nice little. Yeah. You know, let the mm -hmm. light catch the pockets. Yes, ah. that's what you're going to want to do. Do you want to make up a granola, uh, a waffle plate for yourself? Yeah, I touched this waffle, so I will. Great, I touched this one, so. Yogurt head. Stay I'm more like me. a maple head, but I guess I'll try the yogurt too. Okay, <laughs> I like your technique. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great, I will say. It looks beautiful. You did a great job plating. Here, I'll stir up this one in case yeah. you. And I'm just gonna like. Get in. <laughs> yeah, that's how you eat waffles. That's, some, that's, that's the sound of eating waffles. That's me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, my friend? Hmm. <laughs> it's not a pancake. <laughs> and it's not a French toast. Kind of eats. <laughs> That's what you're gonna want. <laughs> kind of slaps. I like the crunch. Yep. Want some texture. Yep. The yogurt's a nice little like bonus. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Probably won't put you to sleep like a Belgian waffle. It's energizing, actually. Is it? I'll say. Invigorating. Invigorating. I like how thin these are. Mm-hmm. You, you can know? eat more of them if they're thinner. Right. Which is, I think, important. The berries a nice touch. If nobody was here and I was just left to my own devices, I would just have maple syrup all over this and just be. Maybe like a little butter mm. would be fun. Oh yeah, I didn't offer you butter. It's all right. 
butter is not for everyone. <laughs> Apparently not for our moms. <laughs> Ooh, those look good. These are very soft, I will say. Um, I accidentally turned it off, so, but. You'll be invited back. You'll be here so. for every episode, <laughs> whether always, you want to or not. The fun fact about me is I'm always here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just get rid of me. <laughs> me too, me too. Thank you for watching Break an Egg. Make these granola waffles. Like, comment, subscribe. Can they get this granola waffle recipe online? Yes, they can. You can get this recipe on food52.com. The link is down below in the description. Somewhere below these waffles. Just go right down there. If you don't have anything nice to say. Don't say anything at don't all. Don't say it at all. That's what my mom always said. Same. And she was right. Maybe she didn't put butter in her cookies, but. But she did teach us how to be nice to people. Yeah, exactly. You can't ask for much more. <laughs> no. You can't.